Hey everyone, it's me Lisa from Oshiblogs.com. Today I want to talk to you about setting up a WordPress blog on Green Geeks web hosting. Green Geeks is one of the very few web hosts that I recommend uh, and I primarily recommend them for two reasons. One, they are super affordable. They're about on par with Bluehost and SiteGround, which are two of the most popular web hosts for bloggers right now. Um, their plans start at $3.95 a month, although you can occasionally find a sale to get hosting even cheaper than that, which is pretty darn awesome. And the second reason I love Green Geeks is because they use renewable energy to host uh, everything that they host. Um, running data servers to run websites takes up a lot of power, um, but using renewable energy, uh, they use 300% green web hosting, is awesome and something I hope that other uh, web hosts will begin to follow in the future. But for now, we have Green Geeks, which is affordable and doing good things for the environment, which is awesome. So in addition to being affordable, Green Geeks offers a lot of great um, things that bloggers are sure to love. For instance, when you sign up with Green Geeks, you've got a free domain name um, for a year, which is awesome because domain names typically cost anywhere from 11 to $15 a year, unless it's a premium name, which is so. That's a nice little freebie they throw in. If you're already being hosted with someone else, they will migrate your website for free. So let's say you are currently hosted with the world's worst uh, web host, in my opinion, that would be Bluehost, and you decide you want to switch to Green Geeks, Green Geeks will go ahead and do that for you for free. So that's one less thing you're going to have to worry about because nobody likes worrying about uh, migrating their website because there's a lot that goes into it. There's a one-click WordPress installer, which we will go through here in just a minute. Uh, their sites work really fast. They're e-commerce ready if you want to do that. And they offer 24-7 support. They really are awesome. I've been uh, working with them for quite a while and even hosting some websites with them. And I really like what they're doing and highly recommend them to all of you. So I'm going to show you how to get your WordPress blog going with them. And to do this uh, video, I'm going to assume you've already gone through the process of signing up with them. You've clicked get started here, you've entered all your information, and we are going to jump in here at the point that you get an introductory email from them. This email from Green Geeks is really going to be your Green Geeks Bible. It has all of the information you are ever going to need to run your Green Geeks account and having set up many websites, this is one of the most thorough and detail-filled emails I've received uh, like this. So let's just go through this really quickly. You'll see the account overview tells you how much you're paying per month, all of that good stuff. Control panel and FTP login details. This is the website you're going to need or the link to basically log into your Green Geeks account which we will go through that in just a minute. FTP. You're probably not going to use FTP very often, I will be honest with you, but that one or two times you do need to access the FTP, for instance, let's say you want to change your permalink structure, you are really going to love that Green Geeks gives you this information because most web hosts do not, and you have to set it up or you have to go search for it the fact that they give it to you right here is so awesome, I can't even tell you. And I know that sounds silly because you're really not going to use it that often. So you might just have to trust me on that, that that is a big perk. Name servers here, let's say you are hosting your domain with someone else like uh, Namecheap, which is where I get all of my domain names from. Uh, you are going to need to go into Namecheap and direct your URLs to point to this website. Um, these name servers. Basically, that is telling the internet in all of its magical glory that I don't fully understand that this is where they're going to go, need to go to find where your website is hosted. Green Geeks does have its own website builder. I 
don't know anything about this, it's not free. Plans start at $3.95 per month. They offer templates that you can choose from, uh, drag and drop site builders, all of that good stuff. My guess is that this would be an option similar to like Wix or Squarespace. For instance, if you have a store, or you're just looking for something quick and easy. I'm not going to go through this with you because I am all about the WordPress, but in case you're looking for something different, they do have that option available for you. As we talked about, they do offer free uh, migration services if your blog is already hosted elsewhere. Uh, they will also um, help you transfer your domain name to them, or at least tell you how to do that. Like say, if you're at Namecheap and you'd rather store your domain now with uh, Green Geeks, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, there's really no need to do that, but just in case. If you love Green Geeks and you'd like to become a Green Geeks affiliate, which I am, you can earn up to 100 bucks per referral, which is awesome. And they make it pretty easy for you to go in there and get signed up as an affiliate. And the one last thing I want to show you here is email settings. They give you this information. So let's say um, my URL I'm using here is smarterhomelifestyle.com. Let's say I set up an email address, lisa at smarterhomelifestyle.com. I could now use this information to be able to check that email address right from Gmail, which is what I do with all of my email accounts. So we have this information. We're going to go ahead and click on greengeeks.com forward slash login, which I have already done right here. That will bring you to your dashboard, uh, your Green Geeks dashboard, which is pretty basic. There's not really a whole lot going on here at all, which is fine. Um, the main thing you need is right down here at the bottom of the screen, it's the cPanel login. Not all web hosts make it easy to find cPanel. Um, so I really applaud Green Geeks for making that pretty much the only thing in your account because um, cPanel, for lack of a better term, is really the mothership when it comes to your website. It's where you're going to be able to access all of your files, make all of your changes, install WordPress, all of that good stuff. So you need to be able to access it um, easily. And since that's really all you can do from the dashboard, it can't get much easier than that. If you haven't been in cPanel before, it might scare you. There is a lot of stuff going on in cPanel, as you can see here, although I promise you, you are never going to need to touch most of it. In fact, I promise you can ignore most of this. I've used cPanel for quite a long time, and there are still many things I've never used. Probably many of this stuff I am never going to use, and that's okay. The basic things you will use, though, in your own cPanel account is the file manager. Um, if you ever need to update any files, or let's say you have a, um, this might be a little advanced, but you never know. Let's say you have a plugin that goes bad and it shuts down your account, it shuts down your website. If suddenly you can't access your website because, let's say, Jetpack goes crazy, you could log into cPanel, go into the file manager, delete Jetpack, and hopefully gain access to your website again. I know that sounds crazy, but um, and hopefully you never actually have to do that, but having access to file manager is pretty key. Aside from that, like I said, if you ever need to access your FTP, luckily those are right there, and Green Geeks was awesome and gave you the information you'll need to log into that. CPanel always gives you some SEO and marketing tools that you can check out. Some of these are going to be free, some of them are going to be paid. They're probably worth checking into, although I'll be honest with you, I don't spend much time in this at all, but you never know if you'll find a good thing in there. Domains, this will help you um, buy new domains, add on domains, redirects, all of that good stuff. You can do that right there. Email, if you need to set up your email account, which of course I always recommend. Like I said, if I were going to set up Lisa at smarterhomelifestyle.com, that's where I would do that there. Setting up an email address that goes with your domain name just looks more professional as you reach out to and work with companies. So you definitely want to do that. 
metrics. You can find that here, um, visitors, all of that good stuff. Although I will warn you, Google Analytics is really the industry standard for bloggers when it comes to analytics. So you're still going to want to install that on your site. And it is going to depress you because the analytics you get from cPanel here are usually going to be much higher than what you will get with Google Analytics. That is because Google Analytics takes out all the bots and fake visitors to your site that um, these metrics are not going to be able to do. So Google Analytics is going to look like you have fewer visitors, but the visitors you do have are going to be real visitors, and that's what companies want to see. Security, I've never really used any of this stuff, but um, if you want to get an SSL certificate, which is the HTTPS instead of HTTP, you can uh, look into that here. Software, there are various um, programs you can use. I haven't used most of these, uh, so I'm not really going to go into that with you, but that is something you can explore if you need to. Advanced, I've never really used any of this. Preferences, you can change your password, change the language if you need to, things like that. So what we are going to focus on though is we want to get WordPress installed on your website. So we are going to go down here to the Softaculous Apps Installer, which I assume is how you say Softaculous, not really sure. And that will bring you here where you'll find a whole bunch of different things you can install on your website. We are doing WordPress, which is the first uh, script or app here. So we're going to hover on WordPress and we're just going to hit install. That will bring up this great screen, which will basically walk you through really quickly installing WordPress on your blog. You're going to choose the protocol. We are, so you could choose HTTP so, um, or HTTP. Uh, colon forward slash forward slash www dot or if you have an SSL certificate you can do the HTTPS. So we'll just leave that at the basic. The domain is already set up so that will be smarterhomelifestyle.com. You don't need to worry about in directory. Site settings, um, you can do this here or you can do it when you get into the WordPress dashboard. Um, there's like I said, no reason to do this here, but it's the site name and site description. If you were going to use multi-site, you could enable that here. Admin account, this is the information you're going to need to log into your WordPress account. Obviously, you never, ever, ever want to keep your uh, username as admin because people are going to try to uh, hack into your site. It is guaranteed this is going to happen pretty much from the moment WordPress is installed on your site. Admin is the username they are going to try to hack into your site using, so please never ever use admin. Um, I've used my email address or my full name. You can do whatever you want. In this instance, I'm going to make it uh, Lisa at Oshi Blogs. That will be my username, password, um, you can have them give you a password if you want. That's fine. Uh, not the strongest, but that's okay. Admin email. Make sure it goes to an email address that you can currently access. You can always change this later, but I'm going to make it my, um, my Oshi Blogs email there. You can choose a language. You can select a couple of different plugins that they will automatically install for you. Uh, limit login attempts. I always like because it limits the number of times the hackers can access your site before they're blocked. And WForms Lite, I'm not as familiar with, but it's a contact form. So we'll go ahead and let them install that. Advanced options, you don't really need to worry about too much here. Although if you want to, you can enable auto upgrades. What this does is if WordPress um, releases an update, to the software. It can automatically upgrade WordPress. It can upgrade um, WordPress plugins and it can also do themes. Um, auto upgrade is awesome because just in case you don't log into your site or something and miss an upgrade, it can take care of that for you. On the other hand, um, 
You may not want to do it if you want to have more control, if you want to know when something's upgraded. For instance, um, that could be handy, like let's say there's a Jetpack plugin upgrade and suddenly your site's not working after you upgrade the plugin. Well, you're going to know that it was the Jetpack plugin if you are the one that upgrades it. If you enable auto upgrade, you may not know that. That is a long description and this is something you can also reconfigure later, uh, but definitely something to think about. Um, personally, I do do auto upgrade because I think it's easier, but um, that's completely up to you. Then you're gonna go down here and select a theme. Obviously, you can change your theme later or you can you can keep one of these, obviously. There's no right or wrong way, but you do need to install a theme um, for them to install WordPress. So from there, we're just gonna go ahead and click install. You can watch here, it should install pretty quickly because it's a clean install. And just like that, we're done. So assuming I've done everything correctly, we can go ahead and click on uh, this URL and it should take us to our new website, which it does. So there is um, a very basic WordPress website that obviously needs some updating and the administrative URL so we can get to the WordPress dashboard. You can click on that there and now you can get to work um, updating your website. So that is, that is it. Um, that took us like two minutes after the point of uh, purchasing hosting with Green Geeks. They make it super easy thanks to that one-click WordPress install. And once you get WordPress on there, you can upgrade to any themes that you buy or really start uh, writing your posts, obviously you can really start making the website your own. And it, I mean, honestly, you can have this done in just a few minutes time if you were to start right now. So I highly recommend Green Geeks. They are good people. They're doing good things for the environment, which is awesome. And they are super affordable. So if you're looking for an awesome web host, I highly recommend checking them out and getting started. Uh, you can be done in just a few minutes, so you can't really beat that. So that is that with this Green Geeks um, WordPress setup. I will put the links uh, to getting set up in the comments below. And be sure to let me know if you have any questions and I will do what I can to help you. Hope you're all having a great day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.